I did my best to follow the Islander's lead, but my feet were made for jungles, not the ballroom. After a few clumsy steps, I stumbled and fell. Yeah, you should see me after a few drinks at a wedding. <laughs> Hello, and welcome to the Nerd Out Shelter, where it's a safe place to nerd out. And today, I am playing Curious Expedition 2! Now, I've already played the first Curious Expedition on my channel, so if you haven't seen that, we went through an entire expedition as Ra Ra Rasputin. <laughs> so go back and check that out, because this is Curious Expedition 2! And if you don't know what these games are about, well, we're an explorer in the late 1800s, and we have to go explore the untamed world for fame and fortune. And as you can see, the graphics have a completely different art style from the first game. That looks pretty cool. Alright, I'm pretty excited to get started, so let's start a new game! I was returning from a scientific expedition to Peru when we spotted a great storm brewing on the horizon. The crew prepared to divert around it, but I glimpsed something inside. Land! An island in the middle of the Atlantic where none should be. Over the protests of the captain, I gave orders to head for the island. Trembling but compliant, the crew steered us into the heart of the storm. The tempest raged with an unnatural fury. A strange fog enveloped us, and lightning crackled all around. The vessel was almost torn asunder by the crashing waves. Yet, just when death seemed certain, we emerged from the maelstrom into an almost perfect calm. Oh, here we go. New objective. Explore the island. All right. Yeah, that looks pretty cool. <laughs> Directly ahead lay a lush tropical island. The storm safely behind us. We prepared to lay anchor and see what wonders this new land held. All right, here we are. We're at the island. Okay, we're already making landfall here. <laughs> nice, we found a little protective cove. Oh, all right, we got to set a waypoint. I knew this route well. This island wasn't here before. Yep, that's a brand new island. All right, oh, it's already day two. All right, so let's go here, I guess. Let's travel. All right, oh, here we go. <laughs> oh, we got sanity. All right, each move costs sanity. You pay a travel start cost each time you move. Making fewer moves is more efficient. All right, well, let's keep traveling. Let's go all the way up to here. Uh, 11, uh, you know what? Let's just go right to there. That looks good. All right, we got to explore this island. Let's go through these, uh, around these trees over here. The storm's still raging over there. <laughs> all right, uh, okay, let's head more inland. Uh, let's go up to here. We're already, man, we're running out of sanity already. <laughs> we're almost halfway through our sanity. Oh, we got something here. There's something over there. Yeah, that's what I said. <laughs> All right, unknown location found. Move within two tiles to reveal it. Oh, okay, yeah, let's just go right here. Let's not get too close, I guess. Let's go within two tiles, and let's see what it is. Oh, it's a shipwreck. Okay, an old ship. Fascinating. All right, wow, that's pretty far in land for a shipwreck. <laughs> All right, let's explore it. I came across an astounding discovery. The wreck of what looked like an old British naval ship. I couldn't help but wonder how it had come to rest here. Yeah, that's a good question. <laughs> With every step we took on this strange island, we seem to encounter another mystery. All right, yeah, let's go ahead and search the ship. Carefully testing the rotten planks before entering, we made a thorough inspection of the ship. After a time, we found several items of value. Oh, okay, yeah, let's see what we got. So we got some dynamite, awesome, useful in map and combat. Blast passages through mountains and tough foes. <laughs> that's really cool. All right, but loud detonations do tend to bother the locals, however. Okay, we gotta worry about that. And we got a shovel. Oh, yeah, we can uh, dig up things. Okay, yeah, I'm definitely going to take everything. Oh, and we're stuck in a dead end here. Oh, looks like we have to use our dynamite. Okay, <laughs> let's go ahead and we're going to grab our dynamite. Oh, man. All right, let's target the mountain. Let's blow it up. Boom. All right, cool. <laughs> Nothing will stand in our way. Yeah, that's right. All right, let's keep going. Uh, let's, yeah, go right through here, through our little valley that we made. Anything else over here? All right, uh, we're running low on sanity. Uh, let's head up towards the river here. And, yeah, right through the bushes. Uh-oh, oh, yeah, we're low on sanity. I just said that. Okay. To recover sanity, consume items such as chocolate or whiskey. Oh, yeah, we have some chocolate. Okay, let's go ahead and do that. Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and eat that. Thank you. There we go. We got some sanity back. <laughs> I love chocolate. <laughs> oh, that's good. All right, let's eat some more. Uh, oh, it looks like we have a native down there. Yeah, there's some islanders there. All right, let's approach them. A small group of indigenous people hurried to our location, seemingly drawn by the sound of our dynamite. <laughs> oh yeah, they don't like that, that's right. They seemed as shocked to see us as I was to see them, yet once the initial wonder wore off, they demanded to know who we were and how we got here. Okay, should we tell them the truth, or should we boast of your great magic? Yeah, look how strong I am. <laughs> Alright, you know what, I'm gonna tell them the truth. Yeah, we were stuck in a storm, dude. 
Using gestures and a friendly manner, I managed to calm the islanders and show that we were but simple travelers. They welcomed us with friendly smiles. Okay, that worked. Awesome. Oh, our standing went up by them. Okay, that's good. After a short time, they made it understood that they must continue their journey. Before they left, they gave detailed instructions to their village, encouraging us to visit. Oh, alright. Yeah, let's show the village on the map. Hopefully it's not too far away. Okay, that's, eh, that's not that far. Because I, I think we can go there, we can rest and get our sanity back. So, you know what? Maybe let's just head there. Because um, I'm going to run out of chocolate at this rate. So, uh, yeah, let's walk right through here. Alright, going to head to the village. I'm coming, guys. Hopefully you have some stuff to trade. Or, you know, some people that can help me, uh, you know, navigate through here. Some scouts or something. Got to go around this mountain. And here we go. Alright, we made it to the village. Alright, let's enter it. We approached with caution, but they welcomed us with open arms. It seemed word of our arrival had already reached the village. We come as friends. <laughs> we come in peace. Oh, they got a cow down there. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> Interestingly, they did not seem as shocked by our strange appearance as I would have expected. One would almost suspect that we were not their first foreign visitors. Okay, we can rest in the village, but that's going to reduce our standing by two. That'll get us back down to zero. Or we can trade with them. All right. Oh, it's locked. Oh, yeah. Okay. Okay, I guess we got to trade. <laughs> A man from the village opened a small woven box, revealing the village's trade goods. All right, yeah, let's barter with him. Oh, we can offer extra items to get three standing. Oh, that's neat. All right, let's see what they have. They have a tanning kit, chemicals and tools used to treat pelts to increase their value. <laughs> Smells a bit like urine. Ew. <laughs> and they have a speckled cow hide, the rough, freshly removed hide. Oh, freshly removed. Wait a minute. Did they just kill the one that I was looking at? Oh, okay, that's kind of sad. <laughs> and then they have a horse hide. Whoa. All right, um, they're killing horses over here, too. And they have an animal tooth. Okay, that's weightless, so it doesn't take up any slots in our inventory. That's good. What else we got? Oh, red berries. Uh, somewhat sour, but nutritious and energizing. Oh, we get some sanity back. Um, what else we got? Oh, wound-closing mushroom. Oh, we might need that. <laughs> Strengthening mushroom. That's cool. Religious icon. Symbol of a local god. Provides comfort to those willing to show faith. Yeah, that gives us lots of sanity, but uh, lowers our loyalty with non-locals. All right. Oh, we got a spear. A rather pointy spear. Oh, that's kind of cool. Oh, and it looks like we have a shield, too. Yeah, hide shield. Okay. Well, that's good if we're going to get into some battles here. But um, I don't really have much to trade but my chocolate. I don't really want to get rid of my chocolate, right? All right, let's go see what we can give them for the spear. Oh, looks like they want chocolate. Oh, that's fine. All right, two chocolate for a spear. Oh, but we need to offer extra items for uh, the standing, too. All right, so let's give them a little bit extra. There we go. Can I get the deal yet? Okay, I got the check mark, uh, but I can't do the deal yet. It's still locked down there. How much extra stuff do I have to give you? Uh, one more dynamite? Okay, there we go. Well, if that's the case, man, I want the shield, too. Um, no deal. Okay. <laughs> All right, let's just go with that, then. I settled on a trade with the villagers. Yeah, it wasn't a very good trade. <laughs> it was a fine trade. Yeah, sure it was. All right, let's go ahead and meet the ruler. I strode into the hut where the ruling council held their hearings. An elder stepped forward and greeted us with a frown. We were allowed one request. Oh, we can recruit somebody. Okay, that's what I wanted. I needed a scout. All right, let's try to recruit a local here. I asked if it were possible to gather any who were willing to join the trek. All right, we have a choice between the Islander Scout, uh, Wahimu, <laughs> his view distance plus 15%. Oh, that's pretty good. Or the Islander Priest, Foro, max sanity plus 10. Oh, that's really good too. Man, that's a tough choice. Um, you know what? I think sanity is super important. I wanted the Scout though, but I think I'm going to go with uh, the Priest over here. Did I truly want to recruit Foro, the Islander Priest? Well, now you're making me second guess it. Um, <laughs> yes, let's go for it. Foro, the Islander Priest, joined our trek. Hey, welcome, Foro. Y yeah, you, yeah, you said it. <laughs> My request granted. I bowed to the council and left them to their business. All right, let's get out of here. I emerged from the hut, blinking rapidly as my eyes adjusted to the light outside. Okay, now we can rest. And since we traded, we have a little bit extra sanity to play with. So let's go ahead and do that. As darkness fell, the Islanders lit a campfire and invited us to sit with them. That evening, the villagers were planning a ritual dance that seemed to serve as an appeasement of their gods. They called these deities the Polykeo, a strange word sounding foreign to their tongues. Apparently, these gods were builders of great magic artifacts. Oh, yeah, cool. I was invited to join their dance to honor the great builders. I considered carefully. Refusing might offend them, but a false step would be an even greater insult. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, we got to roll green to succeed. All right, come on. Let's roll. Come on. Oh, I didn't get green. I failed. Dang it. <laughs> Story of my life. <laughs> I did my best to follow the Islanders' lead, but my feet were made for jungles, not the ballroom. 
After a few clumsy steps, I stumbled and fell. Yeah, you should see me after a few drinks at a wedding. <laughs> The islanders thanked me for our attempt with a good-natured laugh. Oh, thanks, at my expense. <laughs> it seemed I had not offended them after all. Oh, okay, that's good. <laughs> and they even gave us a gift for showing respect to their gods. Oh, they gave us a spear. Well, I didn't have to trade for one. Okay, well, at least we have two spears now. The evening's activity is complete. We settled in for a quiet evening by the fire before retiring to our bedrolls. Oh, but first, let's equip our spear. I'm going to take it for myself. <laughs> so I got to, you know, defend myself. All right, now I got a spear. Awesome. <laughs> All right, let's go to sleep. Oh, okay. Yeah, several days going by. Man, we slept a lot. <laughs> we were really tired, but our sanity went way up. That's good. I recovered in the village for nearly a week. Yeah, that was a long time. I was treated as a welcome guest. Oh, they didn't kill the cow. There he is. Hey, what's up, dude? <laughs> he survived. Okay, we're still low on sanity, just over halfway, but... If we rest again, our standing is going to go really low. So I think it's time to leave the village. But that's going to have to wait until next time because that does it for this episode of Curious Expedition 2. If you like this video, please leave a like. Make sure you subscribe to know what's the next video. And until next time, thank you for visiting Nerd Art Shelter, where it's a safe place to nerd out!